going to do um, some science with our rover. This has already arrived at its previous destination. I set it off again. So this is, there we go, we're going to transmit that. Um, we've we've gone to, I don't even know where we are. We'll find out in a second. So we're going to, where we're, the Mare Nectaris, which is our third stop on our whistle stop tour, as it were. Um, I do need to decide what's going to happen because we've only got, uh, four of these these uh, goo canisters. We've used three of them now, but we do also have the temperature and barometer, so we could keep going with this, and then we can deal with other science in the future, possibly. So let's uh, let's set it off again. Let's get it going. Let's have a look. So we're going to show control panel. We're going to go to uh, pick on map, and let's have a look. We're going to zoom right in. Um, we have done. We have already done. Oh, we, we, we do. we've come a long way, haven't we? Because we landed around here. So we've done. The Mare Chrism, we've done the Rare Fecundalis, we've done ne Nectarian, so we're going to do around here maybe, Tranquilis, Tranquilis, we're going to pop it just there, I think that's the one I want to go for, is it going to find it, yes it has, we're going to click go, and it is going to go, but we can see that we've got a grand uh, thing of uh, 79 kilometres to go to make it to our destination, We've also got, uh, looking at this, 49 days until Venus Dawn arrives. I still find it funny that that left so much later than the others and arrived so much sooner. We've, we've got there. It sends us a nice little message. Great. We'll just uh, bin that and then we can go and get some more science. And as always, it starts off a little bit up in the air. That does make me worry if we built something bigger about the potential Crank, clanking down onto the ground that we might get. Anyway, observe the mystery goo. How exciting. We're going we're gonna to transmit that. Superb. What this does make me think is, can you imagine if we set, if we landed a mobile lab on the moon with a couple of scientists on board? Oh, it would be so much science. It would be just, it would just be bags, bags of science. What are we doing for science right now? Let's have a look. We've been doing that. 272. We're almost at where I want for my transmitters, actually. I wonder if we've got some on the space station. Anyway, let's, let's set this off again. We've now used all of our mystery goo. So now we're just on to the... Um, we're just on to the, the stuff that we normally have. Actually, what are we doing? We, we want to go and set this off again. Let's let's send it somewhere else. I think its final journey will be um, up to like the North Pole or something like that. So um, let's uh, pick them up. We've still, however, got loads of opportunity with this because uh, have we done that one? So we've done Chrism, done that one. We've done Serenis. What else we got? Serenis is up there. Mare food used to be good. Wow, there's loads, isn't it? Ocean Apocellium. Uh, let's go right in the middle of here then. Just do there. There we go. Off you go. Click go. Off we go again. And again, we race through time and magically after a couple of days, we arrive. Let's go and have a look at more science. And we're in a pile of... Oh, we're, in, we're actually inside a rock. That's that's not pretty, is it? Uh, let's, uh, let's do some... So we can't do the um, mystery go anymore, but we actually get more because we're transmitting, getting the, the thermometer, we're, they're actually inside, thermometer and barometer together, they give us what, about about 50 each. Um, so without without the mystery goo, we still get an awful lot. It'd be nice to have the mystery goo. It'd be nice to have like the science suites and all, I should be too bored, that'd be good. So I do think we may have to think about, is that one of its old wheels stuck in that rock? No. Um, we do have to think about landing something big. I think we have to. I think we have to land something really big on the moon. Because then also, if we built it properly, we could actually have it sort of join up and build a, a little moon base or something like that. Anyway, we do have that mission, don't we? Um, let us, let's send this one off again, another journey. I'll probably just cut to that one probably um, after I've picked it on the map. So where are we going to go to? Where are we going to? Um, it's going to go, we've been here. We, we, Mers, that's where we are. Mers, we could go to Mers, figure, ooh. We, we could, oh, no, 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 no. Pick a different one. Right, we could go all the way up. Is that, that's, is that the, the, the pole? That could be close to the pole. We're just going to skim it. Get get there. That's that's quite help. Right, go there. Let's uh, Let's go. Right, on to the next one where we can collect a bit more science, transmit that science. There we are, get that, transmit that, go for it. There we are. What, what are we looking at for science now? Are we all done? We're all done transmitting. We're up at 398. Oh, the science is coming. The science flows. Control panel. Let's uh, let's find a next, next victim. Oh, we, always zooms out. Always zooms out. Right, let's have a look. We are in the Mare Figaro's. That goes all the way around there, does it? What have we got up here? Major craters. Ooh, I could get a major craters on the way. Let's get a major crater. So go right in the middle of that crater there. Is it going to let me eat? Can I go? 
it I didn't know if it was going to let me then. It looked as if it could not found, but okay. Let's um let's keep going. And in our latest arrival, all the wheels just fell off. Yep, I, I don't know if you got that on the video, but the all wheels just spread off in all directions. I am not sure what just happened there. Um so we we're done. I, I guess I guess it was getting a bit cheaty, wasn't it? So we'll we'll log that. We'll transmit that. That is our final load of science. That stops me just taking all of it. Oof. It's annoying, but you know what? I think it's fair. So we can get rid of all these contracts that we've done. There we go. Well, it looks a bit like a shed left on the um, surface there, doesn't it? Um, yeah, go back, look at the video. I should have included it. Where the wheels just flew off sideways. It looked as though they all went off in different directions. Not entirely sure why. Um, where are we actually? Was this the major craters? Did we get to the major craters? I'm assuming it's major craters. It is... I'm a, I'm a pressure scan. No. Am I just... Hold on a second. Where am I? From the moon. Uh? What biome am I in? I've been getting different biomes. Why am I not getting up? Oh, hello. So we I, I just time up there and it's now doing that. Is it going to? I say pressure scan of the moon. It doesn't tell me where it's from. That's interesting. Is it a glitch? Ooh, interesting. It's like we're not in the moon, isn't it? It's like we're we're actually in it. Are we actually below it? Is there something odd going on here? I don't know. Well, I suppose we can go and spend some science. 461. Let's go spend it, then let's go to Venus. Silly me, we've got to get some science from the moon, haven't we? I'm actually going to let this go around until it's in the sunlight. Would help if when we're time warping, we actually stopped when we're in the sun, wouldn't it? Have we got signal? We do have signal. Let's have a look how much we've got. 23. That's not bad. So that's only for like 10 days or something. Let's transmit that. That'll take a little while. It'll use up a load of electricity. There we go. We're very low on electricity, but it's okay because we will generate more through the joy that is the um, solar panels. Are we doing okay, team? We don't really need a pilot here. We could send a lander and a pilot could take the lander down, I suppose. Let's go spend some science. We get a, a double C seismic accelerator, which gives us a new science experiment, which is nice. We get the RA15 relay, which is a relay for 90G. We also get the communitron thing for the ground, which is good if we're going to start sending crew to surfaces and putting things down. So that's that stuff sort of gives us a range of everything. So we're going to take that. That's 300. Let's go for the flight control. Let's go for the landing. That's the sensible options. That's what we're going to do. Right here we are with Venus Dawn. I'm guessing that's Venus in the in the in the in the picture there. Um, it, it should be. We're, get, we're going to get close, are we? How close? Ooh, that is not. As, oh, I remember this one's the the horrible one, isn't it? Right. So let's just. Uh, Warp to the sphere of influence. Uh oh, why have I lost it? Oh, I hate this. There we go. Is that is that it back? Are we back now? Are we about to do something? Can we? Can I do that? It's gone again. Let's just go through. Go through the barrier. There we go. And probably should be any time now, shouldn't it? There we go. That's it. Right. One of the things I do hate is when the the markers vanish. Right. So we're going to uh, put this, put a marker there because this one's such a bad intercept. I'm going to blame that. Right. And we're going to do a capture, which will be like that. I'm actually going to bring it down there like that. That's good. Not brilliant, but it'll, it'll do for now, won't it? Right. There we go. Sorted. It's going to be about a thousand. We're going to put that into the calendar. You notice I'm not using the stock one. Still not using the stock one. I just don't like it. Right, here we go. This is uh, Venus Horizon 1, or Verizon 1, as we shall call it. Uh, we're going we're gonna to run this forward a bit, get it into the sphere of influence. Do, 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 do. Um, have we given this a five-minute leeway as well? I don't know if we have. Where's it? it you see, it's lost it as well because we're in time warp. That is so annoying when it does that. Right, let's have a look. Is it CC? You see, it's got it there. Right. It's got it there, but then all of a sudden, no, you can't have it. You cannot have it. We're going to warp to there in a minute, it says. One minute to get into the sphere of influence. I question whether that's one minute. Okay, maybe it was one minute. Right. Um, I would like to uh, focus on... No, I'd like to focus on Venus, actually. Give me Venus and let me... Let me no. 
I want to, I want to focus on Venus, but it will not let me. There we go. Right. Let's get this in. We're just going to pull this into um, a, a basically a parking orbit. Is what I want to do. Something like that. There we go. Nice and nice and high. Good. That's that. We're going to add that on to the thing as well. There we go. Put another one in. That's going to happen next. Now on to uh, Venus Horizon 2. Now, of course, doing this has actually completed our flyby contract. That's done. We've also got the entering Venus space, which is good. Um, what we can do is we need one of them to get high space science. Um, and I think it's going to be this one because it's going to be this one. Um, we need to, hello, where are you? There you go. Right, wonderful. Uh, can you just warp to there, please, for me? That would be, be wonderful if you could do that. Uh, we're going to warp into the sphere of influence here. And again, it has vanished. It has vanished. The interaction has vanished. That really just annoys me. If I hadn't have clicked beyond it, I wouldn't be sure when it's going to happen. So if I was doing physical time warp, uh, time warp now, I just wouldn't know. I just would not know that it's going to happen. Ah, it's slowing down because it goes across transition, does it? And then is it getting to my point of time that I want it to be? There we go. Okay, get rid of that. Close that. Right, so we've got the alarm done. So let's just pop you to there, warp to there. It's only a minute and a half, but it's a minute and a half. And if you physically time warp, sometimes you lose track of the time, don't you? Oh, there we go. We're, we're in. Okay. So we're going to just come come around again and get, get into here. Well, these two are actually potentially going to make a nice little system, aren't they? Because they're at right angles to each other. That might work for us, actually. That may well work. Right, we'll, um, we'll do this. We'll add a maneuver and we'll go retrograde um how much of a capture do i want that's a good start that's a good start for some science there we go we're going to add that to the to the markers there we go and then we're going to come out i'm going to have a look at the craft um we're going to grab ourselves a bit of science where's my science actually where is my science on this where, where did i put it can anybody remember where is it um i mean i've got this Observe mystery goo. Wonderful. We'll we'll transmit that. Well, it gets us huge amounts of uh, of stuff back, doesn't it? Um, are these on partial? I must I must change them to partial. There you go. Um, can anybody see a? Let's, let's actually, you know what? Let's make this easier for ourselves. Aim the camera at the top. There we go. Right. Can anybody see a temperature probe or anything like that? Oh, there it is. Got it. Log temperature. Transmit that 25. I got more from the moon. More from landing on the moon. I'm offended. And uh, 37 for that. Okay. It's a bit more, bit more stuff. We, of course, have not got the electricity for this. Uh, oh, we've got a milestone again. Uh, a company, a company of our space program has attracted contributions. We've got a little bit of funding and a little bit of science because we've got that set up. I think we might be able to knock the science off now. Although I'm not entirely sure what I'd get instead. Um, I like the science. Right. Let's have a look. We could speed this up a bit, can't we? Got we've got days until these things actually are important. So let's just do that. Have we got all the science done? Is it all the science? Yeah, we've got everything's up at max. Wonderful. Right. Has this got marker in? We've got our markers in. Everything's good. Uh, we've got science. How are we doing? Ninety-six science so far. Okay. Well, it could have been better, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Let's get these things. Um, let's get these things sorted. To Venus Dawn, I think. Right, so here we are, Venus Dawn. It's got 3,000 meters per second. Is it got its antenna out? It does. Right, it has science equipment so that it can actually... Actually, where's that? That's there, that's there. So we can get stuff in the atmosphere. Upper atmosphere, lower atmosphere? Ooh. I'm not sure it's going to make it to the lower atmosphere. I suppose we can't transmit that, though, because our transmitter can't open while it's going through the air is what I'm going to say. It might not even be able to open once it's landed because the pressure might be too high. That's one thing we haven't thought about. Right. We're going to bring this thing in uh, to a sphere of influence, to, not to its sphere of influence. We're going to bring it into its maneuver node. We're going to we'd basically do its capture. We're going to do a capture there. We're about right, are we? Get this thing up. Good, 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 good. Um, we want to, oh yeah, we're going to delete that, close that alarm. Right, get me, get me going. Uh, do I have power? Do I have anything? This is the oh, this is the one that's really sluggish, isn't it? I forgot about this. And because it's a long burn, right? How are we doing? We're currently um, five minutes away from a periapse. Is that right? Yeah, I've got ages. Got absolutely ages. Right, um, fire an engine away. Do that. 
get that to there. There we go. And then we can just physical time warp this. This is speed it up. There we go. Get a bit of wobble on, but that's fine. We've got plenty of delta V. Um, we just need to be captured. And then this thing can descend through the atmosphere at its leisure. Um, we will actually use the rest of the fuel up for that, I think. We're going we're gonna to try and basically use every drop of fuel this tank has got to break it into the atmosphere nice and safely. Um, we will see, though. We'll see what happens. Um, how far down are we going? Um, I want to go reasonably far in because I want to get close. So let's have a look uh, there. That's mm, give it, give it a bit more. Give it a bit more beans. Um, I don't really mind about the inclination. I would like to land on the sunny side, ideally, but if I can't, I can't. We'll take it down to about two hundred. There we go. There. That's 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 fine. Right. Okey doke. Next step. You know what? Let's go for forty because we've slowed it down quite a bit. Let's go. Mm, not not forty. Not, not less than forty. There we go. Go for 40 and then we'll do a one of our returny burns as we hit the atmosphere is what we'll do all right that's 900 Oof, that's that's taken a lot so there's a lot of delta v in this um that is in seven hours we've got enough maneuver coming up so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to save this one jump over to the other one so let's go fix horizon one and then horizon two and then we'll we'll deal with this one of course, there we go, close this. Of course, we're going to do this maneuver on the dark side because that's what happens. Now, the good thing is we've got so many craft around here. We should be okay for signal now. It shouldn't be a problem. So we're going to do this, get into position. Let's have a look. How are we, how are we looking for perhaps our mounts? Okay, we're going to do it about the right time. That's good. Um, let's put that there. And I think I just want to burn it now, I think. Yeah, let's just oh, it's, it's, it's begin. Begin the burn, and this one's only 200, so this shows you the difference. The previous burn was a 1,000 meters per second. 1,000 meters per second are pretty much the same orbit that this one is going to get into, just because um, we actually come into this orbit clo close. We get the Oberth effect. That's all it is. The Oberth effect is king. Oberth effect rules, all that sort of stuff. We are going to bring this into a sort of... Not as a tight orbit, let's be entirely, entirely honest. This thing's going to stay out there a bit, which is fine. It's going to be communicating. It's going to be doing all that stuff for us. Um, I don't think it's brilliant, but it'll it'll work. So that can just sit there now until we look at... Oh, what's this? Have accomplished... We have um, entered the orbit of Venus. Ah, now, what is the, what is the contract we have for Venus Relay? Mars, Saturn, Moon... Do I have a Venus relay? Sharon, Venus. Our pops is below six. Oh, okay, right. In which case, do that. We'll take it down to 600, 500, 5,000. There we go. And it's completed. There we go. It's a bit more. Uh, there we go. Good. Wonderful. Now well, that one's solved, isn't it? That's done. Oh, no. Oh, this one doesn't have the antenna that's big enough. Whoopsies. Forgot about that. Oh, well. Let's try another one then. Right, so we've got Venus Horizon 2. This has got the antennas, has it? Is it is this got has this got the antenna that I need? Is it got what I want? Is it got the requirements to see suit this this task? Is with question. This one does have it, so now we've just got to get this below the required position. So we're gonna spin this around. Again, three three eighty to capture, and we are capturing quite low with this one. But you can see we've got so much, so we could probably actually break this in orbit and, and, and land it on the surface without a heat shield. There is that much delta V on this. In fact, we could. I actually am going to say that we could. I think on Venus, you could do that with this craft. Um, we're going to close that. Right, let's do this. Uh, are these, is, is it moving? Is it? Are these all really just bad at, oh, hello. Hello, Venus. How are you? That's a bad bit of graphics there. Uh, note to self. Bad graphics. Um, oh, I do not have signal. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. I do have signal. I have signal. What are you? You don't have a relay. Um, oh, no. Right. Uh, we have to get a signal at some point. It's going to happen there. This is why we have excess. Oh, we can't do anything. Right. Um, let's keep going until we get a signal. And then we're going to play clever.
Come on, there we go, right. Note to self, this is why we've got a relay system. Right, I need to, I need to put this here. I need to, um, right, first of all, just slow the craft down. That's what we're gonna do. This is gonna talk, this is gonna cost us a lot. This is gonna be painful. I know this already. Hello, all right, just um, slow it down. Well, hold, hold on, would help. Oh, it turned off the, oh, it turned off the SES while we were doing stuff, okay. Right, we're gonna do that. That's gonna come round and it's gonna be annoying, but we're gonna cope with it. And then we're gonna do a radial burn. That's what we'll do. Or we'll just do a burn from a different position. So we're actually still not getting a full signal. We're actually bound, oh no, we are, we are. And we're then bouncing off of horizon one. Right, all I need to do is get this thing caught, captured, do all the things. Right, there we go. Oh, that's low. Mm. So if I go um, radial in, will that work? Yeah, I think that will be it. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. So all we're doing now is wasting fuel, circularizing a bit. There we go. And then I'm going to close that. And what I want to do is, where is my... Um, there is it. I want to go halfway between is what I want to do. I want to go there. So what I want is for that to be going down and that to be going upish. There you go. Right. There we go. That's better. Oh, beautiful. I don't know how high Venus's atmosphere will actually be in this, in this setup. Um, so I want to be a bit careful. Let's have a look. Um, I want to head more towards this way, please. More this way would be good. Yeah, that's better. I don't mind keeping that low. There we go. Do that. Pull it all the way down. We're going to complete this task. I don't really care how close we get to the planet. There we go. We're going to be okay. And come on, come on, come on. There we go. And then we're actually going to put it into this here. Well, the craft is upside down. I've just realized we've got it. I've got it. I'm looking at it the wrong way around, aren't I? Uh, right, there we go. And then just do that. We're going to pump this up, pull that down. And good stuff. There we are. Um, you know what? Hit that. Take it up to 200. Nice and safe. Nice and safe. That's what we want. Um, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. All right. Okay, we now have something of a relay system, although not particularly good. I think, I think I want to put them equatorial, and I would like them to both be at the same altitude. They should have enough delta. Yeah, they've got plenty of delta V. So we, we might look at a Venus sort of network starting up around here. Put them in like geostationary or Venus stationary would probably be a good idea. Anyway, we've got a craft to land. Let's oh, we've completed that contract. Wonderful, and the one out of the way. Let's go. Um, let's go. They go land this one. Let's go for it. Right, let's get the uh, the Venus Dawn as close as possible now. Um, do I jump and see if there's any missions for landing on Venus? I think they would require a new craft. Although they shouldn't. I should be able to do it with an old craft because I think, technically, I think that's the way I think it should be done. It's a brand new type of mission. If you happen to send something, you can do both. That's, you know, you shouldn't be penalized for that. Right, we're going to bring this down to that. I've got that as 41. Maybe I should just take it down to what are we at periaps wise? We're periaps of 180. Maybe I take it to 180 and then we go and check. No, you know what? No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're going to, we're going for this. Independent if we've got a mission or not. Independent if we've got a contract. We'll jump back, check if there's a contract. If there isn't, if there is, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a proof of concept. It doesn't matter. But if there is a contract and we can get it, that would be really nice. But uh, I don't think we'll be able to. Right. 400. We can do a bit of physical time warp because, that you know, why, why go at normal speed is, is the question you're going to ask yourself, isn't it? All right. There we go. Bringing it down to... Did I... I said about 40, didn't I? Yeah. So about there. Oh, a little bit, little bit deep. Mm. Ah, that's fine. If we blow up, we blow up. Right. I'm going to jump and see if there's a contract for this. Well, there is a mission, but it's land a new vessel. Well, well, I guess we'll take it anyway. Right, we are back. I'm looking at this and I'm going, right, when are we going to start our 
I like breaking burn. I wonder if we can go to about here. So warp to there. Is it going to let me? Oh, no. No, no, no. We're going the wrong way around. Um, I need to be here then. Okay. Warp to here. <laughs> yeah. I want to just land in the light and I want to have signal. So the good thing is we've got this thing here right now. That's going to provide us with signal. Oh, we saw, saw something underneath the surface there. That was interesting. Okay. So we want to, we want to try and get ourselves into the, the retrograde. We want to try and get that's prograde, isn't it? Yeah, we're going all the way around to prograde. We want to try and fire this engine, um, ideally, when we are just entering the atmosphere. We could fire it facing up a bit and try and slow ourselves down. In fact, I think that's probably what's the best idea. Do that. Put it there. Let's have a look. We've got plenty of electric charge. That's okay. So if I do a little bit of this, let's have a look. Is that... Right, that is going to pop us up a bit. So I want to I want to point down, uh, point up. Sorry. There we go. We'll do a bit of that. A bit more. I want to go up a bit more. I think we messed this up. Well done, sea monsters. You messed this up. You fired. You fired the wrong way. Yeah. So we're now our we're coming up to our peak in a minute, and I can't turn the craft. There you go. Get a bit of, get a bit of gimbal on the engine. What we actually did was we've actually <laughs> accidentally um, completely changed our orbit. So we're actually going up more now I, I overdid it okay i overdid it i see what i was doing i i know what was wrong there we go we're just gonna we're gonna do that and we might as well just do that we're killing a lot of velocity there that velocity is all gone it's not the sensible way of doing it but that's the way we're going to do it right we're in the atmosphere are we yeah we are so it was about 78 something like that we're going to decouple that we're going to do that there we go just to there going to hold that there now i could spin stabilize it but i'm not entirely sure how stock avionics works with spin stabilization there we go that's our thing now we're coming in oh we are getting a bit of heating actually we, it's it's yeah it's just the effect is that going to explode is the question is that thing going to explode i don't know it seems to be all right it seems to be okay we should be okay i think i think we're going to be fine that the the rest of the craft has now vanished we are slowing down a lot quicker actually so we, it'll be interesting to see how thick this atmosphere is. Um, it should really slow us down pretty quickly, and it looks as though it has done quite a good job. Um, yeah, let's, let's have a look back in. Yeah, we are. We have slowed down a lot, even at that high altitude. So we can we can speedy on down now, can't we? Parallax doing that. It'd be interesting to see what Parallax is like under the clouds, actually. I've not been to Venus with Parallax sort of installed and i believe this is parallax 2 so it should be quite interesting going through the clouds how exciting and they always look so good don't they they always look cool clouds going through them are we gonna are we gonna vanish in the clouds it, it is not volumetric clouds i apologize i have not got that installed i don't even know if it's compatible um so here we go going on through in the, the clouds how wonderful Ooh, it looks dark and horrible in there we're 19 kilometers up from the ground level um, are we going to see the ground before we hit it is more important. We're coming down at 30 meters per second. You can see we've got an awful lot of atmosphere still to go through. This could take a while. I seem to remember Venus takes a long time. On RP1, real scale, it takes a long time to descend. Oh, here we are, coming through the clouds. Oh, look at this. There we go, the surface of Venus coming into view. Of course, we don't have a camera on this. Uh, we have, what have we got? Oh, while we're up here, must remember to observe this keep hold of that for now because we're going to transmit it later grab that log it and keep that for later and then grab this we're going to log that keep that for later and we'll get another one when we're actually down on the ground um, i'm not sure what have we what did we get what was that let's have a look at a review of flying okay so that's flying so it's not high does it is a high and low for venus i don't know if there is I should point out we've used hardly any ablator. That's because we slowed down so much uh, from orbit. But also, I could have cut the ablator. I chose not to because we wanted this mass at the bottom to give it stability. Right, we have got a world's first milestone. We have got entered into the atmospheric flight above Venus. So I suppose we are flying. I mean, we're not we're not falling particularly quickly. I can't remember what the definition of flight actually is. Science is looking uh, low, but we do have all of this in here. So. We've technically got like 30 there, and then we've got another batch here. So another 30, that's 40. So that's 70. Um, so 70, and then this one, which we'll call 
say 50 because it makes the other ones up so you know 100 and 120 125 and at some point i might actually fire the parachute oh i think that's our remnant of our rest of the bit of craft landing so that's going to have landed uh, while we were three kilometers up okay so we we are going quite slow that's good looks as though we're coming down in a reasonably sort of hilly area i quite like this this is quite nice that's quite cool isn't it the the mistiness all right let's um fire parachute there we go it's open oh that's that's gonna take forever isn't it oh dear that's gonna be what 15 minutes to land from there i'm gonna call it here for this episode next episode we shall start hopefully with this thing on the ground unless something horrible happens well we'll see and we'll get on with probably going to Mars, maybe doing some more space station stuff. I really want to send some more stuff to the moon from me. Until next time, have a great one. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. And um, hopefully this is going to land all right. And there we go. So time to collect some signs and I will see you in the next one. So if that was good for you, check out on the screen right now some links you can see other videos you might like. Check out the channel, see if there's any playlists you like. There's also some links to other content creators there you might like. Or leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, do all those things.